Welcome! Uh, today I'm going to show you the scene I created in Unreal Engine using a SketchUp model. So what's so special about this scene? Well, as you can see, it's completely interactive in Unreal. So if you've used SketchUp or 3ds Max or Revit or before, you will know that it's quite a tricky thing to render, well, high-res images. It takes time and you're stuck to the viewpoint and also, um, if you want to do VR or any or uh, animations, indeed, then you have a uh, quite a big problem because it takes a long time to render and it's complicated and it costs quite a bit of money as well. Whereas here we have everything happening in real time, so I'm actually just moving my camera around just like in a video game around this little house by uh, Mies van der Rohe. What I'm going to show you today, uh, go on to my PowerPoint here, so that's you can see a, a sort of a high-res render here. So today we are going to look at a little bit uh, how the SketchUp file, how um, just a couple of tips about how to import, uh, export, and import in uh, export from SketchUp and import in Unreal. We, I'm going to show you the lighting workflow. I've actually used this scene to teach at uh, from when I work for, with Epic Games, and uh, I've lectured at universities to teach this uh, using this scene. So I've um, used it quite a lot of times, and I thought, well, I might as well show it to you guys. And also, will I'll show you the new grass uh, because the grass I was using before was quite old, and here we have the new uh, Quicksell uh, grass. Also, I will show you how we can do a few lighting scenarios, and that's very very simple, the technique that I used to do that. So I'll just actually show you while I'm there uh, a few of the different renders that we can get and you can see they're very very different in a mood and atmosphere and um, so that's that's how I'll, I'll show you how to do that and that's very simple. And before I uh, I get into it, I'll uh, I'd like to also talk to you about my little monthly program that I'm um, sending that I'm launching at the moment. And so, if you're interested in learning Unreal and you've uh, found that you're a little bit stuck and you want some help and you want um, to uh, to move a little bit faster because I know what it's like. <laughs> I've been uh, uh, when I started. Uh, wanted to learn Unreal. In fact, it took me a whole year to even uh, begin to, to learn Unreal because every time I would open it and it would, uh, I'd just get discouraged because it was a little bit too complicated. And to be honest, there are quite a few things to, uh, to understand, some new things. So I've created this program and you can go onto my web page, my website uh, here at fabriceborelli.com and in fact I've put a button here on the front page where you can just go straight onto this page if you want to learn more and um, join the program. And so what we've got here uh, is, is some, well, do some, I'll give you some training every month and then we'll have some weekly Q&A calls and discussion and uh, we've got a quite a, 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 you know, a community happening of professionals, people who are actually uh, doing this as a full-time job like me and um, we'll talk about business and marketing and also art and architecture and I'll give you all these uh, files to download and to study at home along with uh, videos of, um, of tutorials. Okay, so we'll go into more detail then, but so here we are. So here is the SketchUp file. So let me just bring that up. So here we are. Here's the, the SketchUp file that I downloaded from uh, 3D Warehouse. So very, very simple, beautiful little uh, design here by Mies van der Rohe. Absolute classic. If you don't know him, uh, check it out. The, check him out. This is also, I give a little lecture, a little presentation about the architect in the program. And uh, so what we have here is a, a a file which normally came in all on layer zero here and uh, this is what I would like to kind of recommend you don't do is just literally export the whole house as it is. Uh, I'll assume that you've uh, 
you know about Datasmith, and of course, you'll need to import, you need to uh, install Datasmith before you do this. But here, you'll go to export, and you have an Unreal Datasmith file that you can export. So, what I would recommend is that you uh, chunk it out so that we f take out the furniture, for example, and even here. Um, I would also, if this was a real life project, I would take out the central block here and have it on a different layer so that I could make changes to the house, to the structure of the house, and I could make changes to the uh, central block here independently. Okay, so I hope this makes sense, but it's uh, I too often I see people kind of exporting the whole lot, which kind of makes sense because that's what you would do if you were uh, rendering out uh, using V-Ray, for example. Okay, so once you're back into Unreal, we'll have, so let's me bring, and I'll use this little unlit view mode here for, uh, uh, to see, because as you can see, when we open the, uh, the level here, I'll create a new level, an empty level, and we have uh, just the house without any lights, without anything. So the workflow that I use to uh, to do that at this point, without any furniture, without any extra things, I'll go into the world settings and I will build the lighting using a white environment color. This is kind of overly, overly simplistic, but it gives uh, us the ability to tweak and to have a result very, very quickly. So I'll jump on to the next step uh, to show you how that looks uh, so that you don't have to wait and watch me um, here do the uh, do the, the rendering. But here you will see that I've actually got, uh, I've, I've actually imported the furniture as well. And I will use this lighting only mode to give us the uh, the look. Where if you want, that is, in fact, I'll turn the the the, um, the sunlight to give us the look of a white model. And that's uh, uh, I keep saying to people who maybe are not familiar with architecture and who want to get into this, is that there's a lot of value in uh, producing these white renders for uh, if you're if you're into design in, or if you're into architecture, because. If you go into an architect's office, you will see white models everywhere. And this is where the time when we work out the design, work out the massing, and there's a lot of value to be had. So it's important to be able to master the lighting at this stage. And that's kind of what it looks like when we're uh, back into lit mode. So you'll see that I've got a little landscape here that I've created, and you can see when I've got it on lighting only mode. And this landscape is great because now I've kind of set this up a little bit uh, before, so uh, it's um, I've got a here the ability to paint. So we'll go into we're going to a lot of depth into the classes. In fact, if you want to also. You can uh, also purchase this, um, I'll show you here in my courses, you can actually purchase this course um, straight from the shop in here. Uh, however, if you join the program, you get it for free. You, you, get, the, you get the training for free and um, like I said, so, so here we've got the possibility to paint the different uh, textures that we want, but also, like you can see, I'm actually also painting the uh, the geometry, the grass that we've got on here. So that's a very, very powerful um, system that we've got in Unreal, where we're able to paint not only the, uh, the textures, but also geometry. In fact, I'll jump over to this uh, this level here to show you what that looks like uh, in as a final result with this new grass here. And you will agree, I hope you'll agree with me, that especially when I move up to this screen percentage up, we've got some very, very convincing uh, greenery here, if you kind of ignore the trees at the back there. So again, and these are completely animated, if I turn on my real time, yeah, and I'll bring it back down. 
And as you, uh, you may not know, but I'm actually running this on a laptop. So it's very, very um, uh, convincing. Okay, so that's for the that's for the grass. Actually, I'll point you to uh, to this this grass that I've used. It comes from a um, the Megascan Meadow Cap Meadow Pack that you can get from the Unreal uh, Marketplace uh, for free. And uh, I really encourage you to download it, and you get all this amazing stuff. Get these tall grasses and leaves and uh, lots of really, uh, really very, very realistic uh, little um, little meshes here. So we've even got some uh, clovers and everything. So it's it's really, really, um, really great. Okay, so the other thing that we'll uh, we'll do is that once we've got our import and we've painted our uh, our textures, our our landscape, we can then add some greenery. And here, uh, we see that I've got a couple of trees that I've added uh, in my foliage pack, and you can just literally paint these trees uh, very with great amount of freedom, uh, just just like this and. Uh, it's, it works really, really well, and you can see the uh, incredible density that we have. All right, so I'll keep going. In uh, once we've got all our um, all our elements in place, then now is the time. A little bit about the lighting, how I do it, uh, how, well, how I did it specifically for this scene, and because that's the amazing thing about Unreal is that it's it's. So the solution is a little bit different and we have this amazing flexibility because now once we have this kind of this flat lighting mode then the idea is to just bring in a, uh, a, a direct light which I've set on movable which means that this light is actually dynamic so I've actually got different uh, lighting scenarios, different um, uh, cameras here and with each light I'm able to uh, basically give myself the flexibility to just tweak the lighting exactly as I want it. Uh, is to put have the sun position exactly where I'd like it. And here, for example, we have, so I'll turn that off so I don't get too told off. Um, we have even these kind of interactive volumetric fog, which I don't know if you've tried ever tried to do this. I remember I've worked with uh, Thomas Heatherwick quite quite uh, for quite a number of years, and every time I was like, "Oh, can you do the shafts of light of light? Can you do the shafts of light?" And um, of course, <laughs> we can always do the shafts of light, but it always had to be done in Photoshop as a post production uh, process, and it was always a little bit tricky as you. Oh, Ways you, every, every time you do something in Photoshop, then that means that you have to pre-render, and then if you want to make changes, then you have to render and then bring it back into Photoshop, and it gets all very, very complicated. So here, it's very, very straightforward. You just place your light and you move them around, and you play, and that's al almost this kind of new paradigm of being able to treat. Uh, the whole thing like a video game, and here it's uh, it's it becomes uh, second nature almost, and this is where it becomes really fun uh, to uh, to play uh, to play around. So here I'm just kind of showing you scrolling through these different lighting scenarios again. So and I've I've put so here we, if we want to kind of a little bit more of a morning feel or with a low light, and again with this kind of animated um, uh, scene here where each one of the little the little butter buttercups here in the and the are animated the leaves are animated the grass is animated everything is alive in the scene so that means that we can render this as a movie as a kind of a still animated movie very uh, very easily and um, it takes absolutely no time to do that Great, so I hope that was useful. I just, uh, to reiterate a little bit, the if you're interested in the monthly program, it's very inexpensive at the moment, and I really encourage you to check it out. Uh, you can, you will, uh, you will 
the idea is that uh, as I've taught for quite a, a number of years now uh, I've realized that really people um, can really do with a little bit of uh, follow-up and kind of ongoing tuition where uh, a lot of these things kind of like I said before it's taken me it took me a long time to get going and there's a lot of sort of fundamental concepts that you need to understand like PBR uh, how to work with real-time uh, optimization there's a lot of things that we kind of need to to um, to unlearn and learn a new way and uh, it takes a little bit of time and so it's kind of uh, I see a lot of people who get stuck and um, uh, this is the idea and uh, that's why I've also made it really approachable in terms of pricing I'm not uh, I, this is a very limited time because um, obviously as soon as it fills up uh, the, the the offer is gonna go away so but I wanted to make this accessible for people all around the world so here for example in this this little mini class uh, we're going to focus uh, very much on photorealism and this is kind of a, a photo uh, I, I took I got inspired from a photo I tried to copy a photo and it, this is really what we're going to try and focus on we uh, I, I provide this as a service now fully uh, only in Unreal I've completely given up on uh, V-Ray and Corona and so as I believe the the quality is really there today now um, and and the it's like a bit of a dream come true we I'm working on a laptop I have got a big machine but I really tend to do all my work on the laptop and also uh, as the number of t Technic technicality is not everything. I have noticed that a lot of uh, people um, get to a point where, uh, and, and this including myself, to be honest, where we have the ability to, uh, to do everything. We know, we know how to do it, but still yet it's not quite there in terms of image quality. And this is where the art comes in. And I hope to really help you with this. So every month or six weeks, we'll see how it goes. You'll get a new seen and again it's the idea that uh, 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 repetition is key in learning <laughs> I've got children if you have uh, you'll know what it's like and we like we need to learn the th same thing over and over again in order for it to really be internalized and to become second nature and what I propose to do that uh, the way I propose to do that is is to to kind of look at it from different angles because every scene is going to be different so I've got a few scenes already that I'd like to propose we'll look at ray tracing and we'll look at VR and much 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 more so I hope you'll join me as I said I've got a special founders price you will be a uh, tagged as a founder for life and I will be forever grateful and uh, if you want a little bit of extra uh, attention we can have a Skype calls and um, we'll have a, s a special price for you uh, as well so I really hope you'll join us and um, I'll see you again uh, next time